So logarithmic differentiation rules, right? We're talking about derivative of log functions. So let's go over a couple of rules. Ln of x, the derivative, derivative with respect to x of ln, ln of x is just 1 over x. Derivative with, with respect to u of ln of u is just u prime over u. Right? Derivative of log a u is just u prime over u ln of a. Right. So with that being said, let's jump into a couple of problems. All right. Let's look at this first one right here. Well, again, derivative of ln of u. Well, your u is always going to be your argument. All right. So just remember, u will always be your argument in terms of logarithmic function. So this will be my u. So again, anytime you see a natural log or log, I, you know, automatically draw a fraction bar because these will always be fractions so again the derivative respect with respect to ln of x says is just 1 over x right and again we're going to prove it ln of u says it's u prime over x so again u prime or the derivative of u is just 5 yes right over just plain old u which will just will just be 5x and again, it turns out that, you know, we could cancel those fives, right? This will go in one. This is one. So my y is really one over x. And that will be my derivative. All right. Let's look at the next one. The y is equal to log 7, 5x. Again, this will be my a. Oh, I'm sorry about that. This will be my u. Going a little bit too fast. My base will always be my a. Yes. So following what the rule says, my y prime, and there should be a y prime up here. I'm slipping. My y prime will be, okay, it says, the rule says u prime. So u prime is just 5. Right? The derivative of 5x is just 5. And that will be all over u, which is just 5x multiplied by, the, by the ln of a. All right, so ln of a, all right, which is just ln of 7, all right. So again, u prime divided by, you know, 5x, oh, I'm not talking to you guys, I've seen, but again, u prime divided by plain old u times an ln of a, all right. And again, these could cancel out. This is just 1, this is just 1. So my y prime will just be 1 over x ln of 7. Yes, this will be my answer. How about this one? ln of 7, 3x squared plus 5x. Again, this is my u. The 7, which is my base, will be my a. So my y prime will be, I'm going to draw a fraction, fraction bar. Again, u prime will be on the top. So again, derivative of u prime Derivative of u, which is in the, which is in the bracket here, will be six x, right, plus five, and that will all that will all be over u, which is three x squared, plus five x, ln of seven, because this is my a, and that's what the formula says. So this will be my y prime. So log derivative derivatives are not that hard. It's just remembering the formula. And again, I simplify the formula as simplified as possible. So not all of this stuff, but rather the outside here. So log derivatives are just following the formula. Not something too difficult. However, I wanted to touch on something that I wanted to make a statement here. Remember we said that the derivative of e to the x is actually e to the x. And it's this formula that holds true, right? We know that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. We just don't, you know, we don't need to show it. But I wanted to show you where it's coming from. Again, y, and this is an exponential function because we have some value raised to an x, right? So again, the formula says a to the u, which is just e to the x, right? Multiply by the derivative of u prime, right? Now remember, Anything in your exponents, right? Well, th this is basically my u. My x here in the exponent is my u, right? So e to the x, which is just a to the u, 
multiplied by u prime. Well, the derivative of, of u or the derivative of one, uh, derivative derivative of x is just one, right? So I'm gonna multiply this by one, multiply by ln of a. Well, again, my a in this case will be my e, right? And so ln of e, right? And, and look what happens. The actual answer is actually e to the x. Again, this is one, so anything times one, it's itself, right? But ln of e, that's also one, because again, the base of the natural log is e. So that holds true. How about this one, all right? This y prime here, all right, will be, okay, well, the, the formula says a to the u, which in this case, my three, my base is a, my u is my exponent, right? And, and it should make sense to you, right? We talked about, you know, converting from logs to, you know, uh, you know, exponential and vice versa, right? And, and by now you should realize that anytime we're talking about a in terms of logarithmic functions, it will always be the base, right? Uh, so just keep that in mind. So again, my base is a, which is three, and my u is four x. So the, the formula says a to the u, which is just 3 to the 4x, multiplied by u prime, which is just 4, all right, multiply by u prime, all right, u prime is, uh, u is 4x, u prime is 4, all right, and then we're going to multiply by the natural log of a, which is just the natural log of the base, which is just 3, all right, so looking a little bit cleaner, y prime will be 3, 4x, 4, ln of 3, all right, that will be multiplied, and that will be my answer.